Stop sale on Jeep? What? Oh, man. Things just keep going from bad to worse for Stellantis. Damn. What is up, guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And maybe one of the reasons that Toledo has been on these indefinite layoffs is not just because of them not having any orders or orders. Maybe it's also because they can't sell any Jeeps right now. <laughs> I literally just got hit up. Uh, I've been hit up over the last four days by multiple people that work at multiple dealerships. And they're sending me images that show not for sale on basically every 4xe, 4xe, 4xe Jeep that is for sale. Now, part of this is probably due to the recall um, caught with, where they're worried about these Jeeps catching fire in your house, telling people to park them outside or don't drive them. That's most likely what that is. But uh, they also said that some of the regular Jeeps, and I don't know if there's a recall that's coming down the line, regular Jeeps, not even 4xe's, are also on a do not sell list. Now, I don't know if this might have something to do with an airbag. Maybe it's something to do with one of these brake system recalls that maybe the Jeep uses. Maybe it's a transmission issue. I don't know. I just found it uh, very interesting to see a no sale. You can't sell any Jeeps right now at a lot of Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealerships. And then I, I had to call and check for myself. So there's a local dealership here in town uh, called Chapman. And I hit them up to find out if they had any Jeeps. And they did. And then there's another one not too far up the road from me here that's just a Chrysler and a Jeep dealer. I've been there before. You've seen them here on video. Uh, Jim something. And uh, I said, hey, I'm looking at a, a Jeep Wrangler. And they asked me what I wanted spec wise and i was like well i was looking at the four by e they were like none of them are for sale can't sell them i was like cool what about the regular ones and he goes well it depends on your trim so i don't know if i believe they all use the same transmissions but to be honest with you i, I honestly don't know um but there are some regular gas ones that are absolutely not for sale right now and there are every single hybrid version of the jeep wrangler is not for sale absolutely can't buy it uh, they're on a stop sale right now, no sale. And it's probably due to the, uh, the nationwide recall, but it explains why they've had the shifts shut down at Toledo for so long and why the workers are on a definite layoff. I mean, if you don't have orders for Jeeps and you can't sell the ones you already got, they're not going to keep building more. And they probably have to figure out what the fix is first for the four by E to then sell those jeeps and have more built so they could fix it at the factory and i have to deal with it at the dealer but i digress just a short news article story for you today i thought it was uh i thought it was interesting to see jeeps on a no sale um that's gotta hurt them especially right now i mean third quarter's up the earnings are gonna drop but it's not a good way to start your fourth quarter when you can't sell stuff that you already got I know they said they're going to fix their overglut of inventory by December with rebates. And if we're looking at some of the rebates that we've seen them drop in Canada, meaning 4000 off on Rams that are already 25000 overpriced, it's not going to help much, just to be honest. And it's the same thing for Jeep. Um, I, don't, I, I think when these earnings drop for them uh, on Halloween, on the 31st, the stock is going to crash. I think in the fourth quarter, if going into the first month of that first qu for, uh, fourth quarter, they don't have a big morale change, uh, and I mean like get rid of Carlos Tavares, they have to do something so drastic that changes the morale for this company that people are enthusiastic about it. Or come January, it could be it could be disaster for Stellantis. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, stay petty, my friends.